Hackers want Integra's health patients to pay up, but cybersecurity experts say be on the defense instead. Tonight, News 9's Chris Yu talked with them about what to do if you're a patient whose personal info was stolen in the recent breach. Data breaches, they can happen anywhere to anyone. This is the fifth time in the last 10 years that my information has been leaked in a breach. And I'm a cybersecurity professional. Chris Yace is a director of network security at Cyber One. He is among the many people who received this email from hackers claiming the data of more than 2 million Integris Health patients were stolen. That email included the recipient's addresses, phone numbers, birthdays, and social security numbers. The hackers wrote that the data will be sold on the dark web unless the victims pay $50 by January 5th. The tools that they wanted wanted folks to use, yeah. uh, Bit Bitcoin and, and, and Tor, which is the Onion Router Network, yeah. are not tools that I would ever recommend to any general consumer to use. Dennis Byford, senior VP of IT at Odyssey, is also a victim of the breach. I was quite shocked as well. He and Yates say don't concede to the hackers. Don't pay them because that just puts you on another list um, that you're a good mark now. Instead, they say victims should request a freeze on their credit reports right away. Which basically will prevent somebody from opening a bank account or credit card or other financial instruments in your name. To activate a free credit freeze, contact the three major credit bureaus, Equifax, Experian and TransUnion. Byford and Yates also recommend subscribing to a credit monitoring service. See if that's something that's already offered via one of your credit cards or some other organization that, uh, that you might belong to. For more tips, visit News9.com. In Oklahoma City, Chris Yu, Oklahoma's own News 9.